God has plans to prosper you, give you hope and a future too. So let me remind you of what you have the power to do. You can win, live your dreams, reach your goals. Hello, you're listening to the Cassandra Mack Podcast, where we maximize success and de-stress from the mess through a biblical lens. Make sure to hang out until the end. I have a prayer that I'm going to pray just for you. When you get a moment, stop by the website, CassandraMackMinistries.com. Check out our books, inspirational mugs, hoodies, and t-shirts, all designed with our mental health in mind to inspire us all to live our blessed life. So for all the December birthday babies, if this is your birthday month, happy birthday to you. Let us know if it's your birthday, how you're celebrating, what you're doing. Are you chillaxing and just taking like a self-care day? Are you going out? What you doing for your birthday? Shout out to those of you listening from all around the world. Please let us know where you are tapped in from. Where are you? Let us know. Let us know. And a big thank you to those of you who support this ministry with your financial offerings. We couldn't do what we do without you. When you sow into this ministry, you were actually doing ministry with us. You are sowing into the ability for us to be the hands and feet of Christ. So you are part of this. So on today's podcast, it is being sponsored by the book, Simple Prayers for the Holidays. And this is a book of wonderful, simple prayers to really highlight the many emotions and the many ways that people experience the holidays. It makes a great keepsake for yourself and it makes a great stocking stuffer and gift for others. So today's episode, we're talking about the necessity of being selective and protective about entering spaces that do not align with the abundant life that's meant for you. So you got to be selective and protective. And we have been getting a lot of our emails, a lot of prayer requests in the area of dealing with friends and family during the holidays. A lot of you are going through stress, anxiety, feeling sad, feeling depressed. Some are estranged from their family. Some have strained relationships with their family. Some already know the drill and you know that it's going to be a toxic uh, family function and you are in a place of just stress because you are on the fence should you go should you not go and this is what I want to say to you you have every right to be selective and protective about entering spaces that are not aligned with the abundant life that you can have through Christ. Christ came so that we may have life more abundantly. You got to keep that in mind. And so as a believer, you are supposed to experience the joy of the Lord, which is your strength. You are supposed to experience peace that surpasses all understanding and not peace that the world can give you because the world can't give you peace. But the peace that comes from God through Christ. You are to, uh, to experience purpose a sense of purpose with your life, a sense of meaning with your life. And you are to grow in the fruit of the spirits. We, I'm speaking to myself as well. And so when you are in places and spaces that don't align with the abundant life that you desire to have through Christ, then you have to rethink the places and spaces that you are dwelling in that you are agreeing to spend time in. Now, we are not to live our lives selfishly as believers. And as believers, we are called to be a blessing 
But being a blessing does not mean being a doormat. Let me say that again. Being a blessing does not mean being a doormat. Being a blessing does not mean co-signing on dysfunction. Being a blessing does not mean subjecting yourself to perpetual narcissism. And so you got to be clear about that. So I want to share a scripture. First Peter, first Peter chapter one, verse 18 and 19 says, for you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. And so you got to remind yourself that Christ didn't die for you to continue a cycle of dysfunction if that's what it is. Christ didn't die for you to be part of a generational curse. You are actually empowered to trample on serpents and scorpions. As a believer, you can annihilate, not just break, annihilate generational curses through your witness, through your walk, through the way that you live. It stops with you. And so you got to remember this, right? So Christ uh, wants you to live an abundant life. And I'm going to give you the scripture that tells you this. So the scripture is John 10 and 10, John chapter 10, verse 10. And it says, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come, meaning Christ, that they may have life and have it more abundantly. It don't get no plainer than that. And so there are certain spaces that you are entering or you are on the fence about entering that you know when you enter that space that it's going to steal, kill, and destroy something in you. It's going to steal your peace. It's going to kill your confidence little by little. It might kill the integrity that you are working hard for as you are growing in the fruit of the spirit because somebody done triggered you and now you're acting like you ain't got no sense and you are joining them in their foolery. The thief comes to destroy. So you are building some things in your life. And you got to be very clear about that. And the thing about even family is that family are human beings first. Family are human beings first. There is story in after story in the Bible where we see family do the most treacherous things, starting with Cain and Abel, Joseph and his brothers, and the list goes on. And so you are not the exception to this rule. And it is important to understand that you have a right to be selective and protective about your peace. You have the right to be selective and protective about your joy. You have the right to be selective and protective about your mental health. You have the right to be selective and protective about not wanting to engage in behaviors that don't align with the person that you are evolving into. You have a right to these things. So even if it's being around friends in this particular friend group like to backbite, they like to gossip, they like to one up each other. You have a right to say, I choose not to participate in this dynamic. Now you don't have to go around speaking like that, saying that to people, but you need the clarity for yourself. So do understand that during this holiday season, you have a right to be selective and protective about entering spaces that are not aligned with the abundant life that you can have through Christ. And even if family tries to come at you and say, well, it's Christmas and for the sake of Christmas, we need to all come together. And you know that that's not what it's going to be because you've had enough history and you already know that it's going to be a situation where it gets real messy you already know that it's going to be a situation where they want your presence for the pictures, but nobody's really engaging you. What's the point of you even being there? And so when you are clear about that, then you understand that because it is Christmas, the very thing they said, because it is Christmas, because it is Christmas, Christ mass, Christ mass, that's Christmas. Because it is Christ's mass, I'm staying focused on celebrating Christ 
And I choose to celebrate Christ in this way. So don't let nobody game you or gaslight you to make decisions that are not aligned with how you want to feel, how you want to show up, and the places and spaces that are going to honor your ability to have life abundantly. As a grown adult, you get to choose these things. Even if family and friends put the pressure on you, you get to choose to be selective and protective about the spaces you choose to enter. And especially spaces that are not aligned with the abundant life that you can have through Christ. You get to choose these things independent of how anybody feels about it. So your aunties can call you and tell you how disappointed they are. They'll work through it. Your cousins and uncles and your mom and your daddy can call you and tell you that you really need to be there. You really need to be there. But you get to choose because it is your life. It is your life. And you get to choose. Now, again, we are not meant to live our lives selfishly. And so you can still choose to be a giving person. We are supposed to be a blessing. And so you can still choose when there is a need and you have a family member who needs assistance and God leads you to provide assistance in that area, whether it's groceries, whether it's 20 bucks, however God leads you, you can still be that loving, good-hearted person that you are and you can provide assistance. You can provide assistance and keep it moving. You ain't always got to stay every place where you provide assistance. When we think about Jesus' ministry, he healed the sick, he preached, he preached, he uh, performed miracles, and then he went on to the next town. And so you are allowed to operate in purpose. That's what I'm getting at. And your purpose on earth is not to subject yourself to spaces, places, people, and situations that do not align with how you want to feel, how you want to show up, and where it is you're trying to take your life in this season of your life's journey. So I hope this was helpful because so many of you have been writing in and reaching out concerning uh, the stress and the angst that you're feeling around the holidays in terms of uh, receiving invitations, not wanting to go wanting to kind of do your own thing, but you're feeling the pressure. And so really begin to reflect on John 10 and 10 and overstand and understand that Christ came so that you may have life abundantly, abundantly. And you have every right to enjoy your abundant life in a way that honors your life's journey and that honors the Christ in you. So with that being said, I want to really encourage you to become a member of the Cassandra Mack YouTube channel. When you are a member of the Cassandra Mack YouTube channel at the second tier or higher, you get access to the Wednesday Wellness Club, which is a therapeutic group that meets twice a month by telephone conference call. So we get to talk to one another and hear one another's voices. And so we focus on mental health, emotional healing, mental mastery, self-care through a biblical lens. And it is cheaper than therapy when you think about what a therapy session, even a group session costs. And this is very therapeutic. I want to be clear that it is not therapy, but it is therapeutic. And so I would encourage you to make the investment in yourself, in your self-care, your personal development, your growth, your better life. So I would encourage you to do that. And I have a new single Spread Love, Be Kind. It is a Christmas single and uh, it will really bless your life. So I would encourage you to go to our website, Cassandra Mac Ministries, click on the link that says music and you can pick it up for only a dollar. What else am I forgetting? I want to make sure I'm covering all bases. Oh, if you want to worship with us on Sundays at Church by Phone. Church by phone happens every Sunday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you got to figure out the time if you're in a different time zone. I am uh, here in New York. So it's 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. For the number, the access code, more information, visit our website, CassandraMacMinistries.com. And uh, you will see the information for church by phone on our website. So God bless you. Remember, Christ came 
so that we can have life abundantly, more abundantly, actually. And he is with us all the time. And it is up to us to enjoy the abundant life through Christ. God bless you and uh, be a blessing wherever you go. So I wanted to make sure to include the prayer. So I'm uploading the prayer now so that you have it for today's podcast. Dear Father God, in the name of Jesus, we are asking you to guide us and order our footsteps concerning being selective and protective about the spaces that we enter. Help us to remember that Christ came and is with us so that we may have life more abundantly. Show us how to enjoy life more abundantly through Christ when we're stuck in patterns of dysfunction and we don't even know how to enjoy life as a believer. And so we ask you, Father God, to guide us, lead us, strengthen our discernment in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. Sip of Scripture, a collection of bite-sized Bible verse songs for meditation and relaxation with yours truly, Cassandra Mack. For many of us, our lives are so busy and hectic that we don't get our devotional time in like we should. So in this extended play, we're going to sip on the scriptures together as we listen to powerful Bible verses in spoken word and in song. Bible says, make a joyful noise, serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. One of the reasons among many why meditating or deeply reflecting on the scriptures is so powerful is because Bible scriptures give us inner strength. They give us spiritual power, emotional healing, and wisdom for life. So as you're listening to the words of these songs, perhaps you're curled up with a good book, or you're sipping on a fresh brewed cup of coffee or tea, or you're drinking your lemon water. Maybe you're writing in your journal or you're reading along in your Bible. You might be driving in your car or cozied up under the covers. Or you might be looking out the window, daydreaming. Wherever you are, and whatever you're doing right in this moment, my prayer for you is that you allow the words in these simple Bible meditation songs to give you strength, comfort, power, and to soothe your soul. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Isaiah 26 and 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Can't give you and the world can't. 
feel stressed or overwhelmed, look deep inside your heart and find that peace that only God can give you. It's already inside of you. You give me perfect peace like a sunny day. You give me perfect peace like the summer rain. You give me perfect peace like the blue sky. You give me perfect peace like a butterfly. So when I am stressed, in your peace I will rest. And I won't obsess, cause you know what's best. where you are. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feel God's peace all around you. Feel God's peace flowing through you. And know that God will keep you in perfect peace. Say it with me. God will keep me in perfect peace. Like a sunny day, you give me perfect peace like the sun.